Hey, what's up, y'all? Um, today is June 30th, 2011, and it is Glenn Beck's last show. I'm finishing watching it up right now. It's him going over <laughs> all of the lunacy, basically, that he's gone through in the past couple years. And good fucking riddance. Fuck you, Glenn Beck. I'm so happy that you are no longer going to be able to have a humongous platform in the middle of the day to spread your lies, your hate, your propaganda, your misinformation. Uh, I mean, you are a horrible, disgusting scumbag and human being. You suck. You don't care about the truth. You don't really care about people. You just care about some ridiculous agenda and will bring on any number of liars, including David Barton and, and all this just one-sided conservative crowd to lie to your audience then you'll give fake quizzes to to further just just corrupt the minds of your audience and it's uh, it's gross it's it's gross yes you are entertaining because you are a lunatic people used to watch you because you are a lunatic and your your ratings are dropping like a rock because guess what no one wants to be in the same room as a lunatic for a long time and that's why your ratings are, are starting to plummet. And your radio show's getting canceled all over the place. And I know you're still going to be on there with those two crazy assholes that you co-host with. And, you know, it's not like you're going to go away forever. But this, this definitely gives you less visibility. And I think when a, when a monster and a liar and somebody as unethical as Glenn Beck loses a little bit of visibility that that is a good thing um so i just want to reiterate fuck you glenn beck you were a terrible part of this country's history very sad part of this country's media history in, in which it was just basically firebrands disguised as as any sort of legitimate news people right? it's absurd to, to call Glenn Beck anything like a journalist or anything like that, but people listen to him. People get their information from this guy, and he is a one. I mean, he's a completely slanted clown. And and like I said, the fact that he doesn't care about the truth, the fact that he only pushes talking points in one agenda, is one of the most disgusting and intellectually dishonest and bankrupt things I've ever seen. So I will reiterate again, I could not be happier that this son of a bitch is off the air. Peace. Oh, I don't want to give y'all the finger. I really apologize for that. That's for Beck. That's for y'all.